Working on the secondary. Yeah, it's not working on the secondary. Just go 0-7 and I get the 0-2 in an amateur bracket. See Mr. Champ and say, yo, I need my money back because I'm free. Yeah. <laughs> That's where it hurts, man. You go to sleep at night and go, man, I'm free. I really got my money back and I'm yeah. mad free. Uh, we'll I see. told him. I told Champ about that. That, that was my idea. We'll go over that story <laughs> in a little bit. <laughs> see, that's the thing I like about you. Look, you have so much great stories. You have so many great stories, right? Coming yeah. from such a long time in the community, and uh, yeah, you, you carry that history that a lot of people just miss out on. Like the golden age of being an ICs main. Yeah. <laughs> a golden age, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll take it though. But Franzi and Jay Slayer hopping out right into it. Um, Franzi. Yoshi, J Slayer, going Lucas, uh, everybody's favorite nowadays. <laughs> you know, it's kind of tough for me, too, because I did see Muffin from Mars getting top eight, but he took an L to Sin? No. Uh -huh. A little bit oh, early. Oh, yeah, I commented in yeah. that match. Sin was oh. on his game, man. Yeah, man. This man was looking to take Muffin's money for yeah. sure. But here we go, opening up the opening up the action here of Wave 5, pull E15 if you're following along on Smash GG breakthrough. Oh, nice. Fonz already looking to capitalize off the up tilt and then just carry Jay Slater to the corner. But oh, my God, just snatched him out of the down special. <laughs> and that's Super what I'm saying, grab. man. He's got, he's no slouch yet. Took out Zenyu what? before and that PK freeze, man. Just eat him to the blast zone. All he did was just read every single move that Franzi threw out. He had nowhere to go. He thought, you know, Franzi thinking he's going to get off nice and easy, and Jay Slayer had other ideas for sure. Oh, yeah, he did. He did. Those are some textbook reads, and Franzi looking to hopefully catch up. There's the down tilt. you got to watch the tail, and it's a little <laughs> bit disjointed. you got to watch. Watch the eye on that one. All right, we got a bit of an uh, opening act. Uh, these two slugging back and forth because after taking Franzi's best hits, uh, Jay Slay or Jay Slayer's best hits, Franzi just immediately rebuttaled and we're pretty even coming into the uh, second stock. A couple of jabs there. I do like the fact that kind of Jay Slayer is looking to keep Franzi a little bit towards the edge, but the minute Franzi gets back on, he keeps that juggling going with that upper. I mentioned how Yoshi's tail is just joining. That kind of helps Yoshi kind of wall out Lucas the same way Lucas does a little bit better around swords. Yeah. So he's good against disjoint. So that's kind of one edge that Jay Slayer has over Fonzie. Yeah, the sparkles, they're broken. <laughs> they just go through <laughs> any sort of range situations. Although, I mean, sometimes the uh, side kids do struggle against some of the sorties. Yeah, in, that's uh, true. Matchup, so. Depending which sword you're going for, right. I do like the fact Jay Slayer trying to hit him with another PK fire on the back of the stage. Fonzie looking to capitalize. That's kind of the scary thing when you get hit by Yoshi. You don't want to be below Yoshi. You kind of want Yoshi to be above you. So you can start reading those punishes. And both players now playing a little more tentative than before. Although going for an aggressive read, Jay Slayer with that tilt the forward smash attempt. But it's just one of those oh, situations. Nice. Uh, you know, they were going all out super aggressive reads early, but now the, the reality of the situation is setting in just a little bit. They're both at high percents trying to hold on to that stock because they know that lead coming into the home stretch is going to be really pivotal. And the PK fight takes his man off the stage. He's got stage control. Can he get the proper edge guard? Finally tosses in the eggs. He wants to clear the distance, but unfortunately, when you get out of the shield, you gotta watch out for Lucas's combos because he loves to go for a down tilt. Can't confirm the up tilt. He can go for Nair, but unfortunately, man, Fonzi just drops the hammer down. Yeah, down special it clears it out, and you know, we went from a good aerial bait into an up tilt on a shield drop to a down special from Yoshi. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty even, so both of them coming out with some pretty crafty plays. Yeah, um, that's what, this is where you put out all the stops, man. There's an Arcadian and the possibility to just be one of the best of the best here in SoCal. Oof, that was such yeah. a confirm, and Fonzie almost pulled back and got that forward smash. And oh, got the closer range egg, almost uh, followed up on it. <laughs> yep. Down tilt, I like it. Goes for the jab instead of the forward smash. Doesn't see the percent that will probably take out a care of Fonzie. And you see, Jay Slayer trying to control the pacing just a little bit, but that double jump armor yeah. coming out from Yoshi, just going right through the Zara of Lucas, opening up a little bit with that forward air coming in. Oh, they had an air dodge. <laughs> oh, I like that. Even even the fact that Jay Slayer kind of rolled away, said, you know what, I'm not going to try to go for anything too risky. He's going to roll away, find another situation here. Yeah, Jay shield Slayer. flash before his eyes. Exactly. So they're just trying to take control here. I like the fact that he sneaks in that PK fire. He wants center stage with that high percent that he's got, but he has to watch Yoshi's aerial game. He can't go for an up B if he misses up for I'm sorry, down B. He's uh, Franzi going in for a dash attack, trying to cover a burst option, and was punished for it, but not anything too heavy. Oh. Good up, up air. I told the rogue up air. You know, you see, you see Lucas all the time. Jay Slayer trying to, you know, put out those aerials to put yeah. shield pressure on. And can't do that if you don't get set up, and that up air covers the setup. And he had the right idea, right? He was sneaking in those PK fires to make sure that Fonzie kind of got mm -hmm. sent towards the middle of the stage to clear the way back into center stage. But the problem was, that like I said earlier, you don't want to kind of be above Yoshi. You kind of want to have Yoshi below you. I'm sorry, above you. So. Yeah, but it's F O N Z I E, not. Oh, if S F O N Z I O Fozzie. Oh, no, he has uh, Franzi right there. Oh, Franzi. <laughs> Trying to clean up some of the production stuff. 
on the on the. This man does look like a greaser. He's kind of got the greaser esque yeah. kind of guy. He's got the white shirt. He had those blue jeans <laughs> and, and the chucks. Uh, I give mean, them a, a, a SE Hidden Outsiders action going on. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, the Fonzie here, yeah. man. It takes game one. I'm be, I'm be real with you guys. The pink Yoshi is not my favorite color. I think it's solid, but I think the red Yoshi is the best color. The red Yoshi is honestly the best. I think. I'm that, one of the uh, the light blue Yoshis personally. Oh, okay. That's, that's where I'm at. Some would say a man of culture, but uh, we'll see what culture is here to be played between Lucas and Yoshi as it's back to the game two here. A little change of venue coming out on Smashville instead of Town and City. Yeah. That's interesting. We didn't, you know, most of the, the matches have been going to Pokemon Stadium too, but. We got that Smashville and Town and City early on. Yeah, I think that's what some players tend to, you know, at this level, especially as well, they mm -hmm. tend to go PS2 and then not realize that the opponent's character probably has more advantages than PS2 uh -huh. and not actually counterfeiting. That's a mistake that some players need to let go. Good Nair. No follow up. Immediately kind of just lets go. That percent was not ready for a follow up. Goes for the dental. I like the grab attempt. Both of them actually had a little grab clash situation. Not a, not doesn't happen too often, but on occasion, they'll mm -hmm. throw it out. So you know you got a pretty even match, right? They're both throwing out the moves at the same exact time. Yeah. The same stuff. Some Especially some two tethers. <laughs> <laughs> right. Some people call it the matches even at that point. Oh my god, good up smash, good pressure, but Jay Slayer being very patient, going right back to the ledge instead of pushing his luck. Nice, good spacing here gets the speaking whiff. Of, speaking of pushing luck, right, that might have been a little bit of too much forward action coming out from Fonzie. And I'm not going to lie, for Fonzie, he should have been more content with the fact, like, okay, Jay Slayer wants to give me that much of a stage back. Right. Let me go and get for a neutral getup instead of coming in with an aerial, but that was the problem there. Able to even it back up, though, and we're, you know, right back into it. Same story from game one. It was such a tight race coming into the home stretch, and they're right even here in game two. Jab action has them off stage. And that's kind of the thing. As soon as uh, J Slayer is able to set up off stage, that's where we've been seeing mm -hmm. some big damage. You know, pretty prototypical for the Earthbound kids. That Pinky Thunder turret comes out, and it's uh, hell trying to break through. Wait for it. I like it. Looks to see if he's going to land on the platform. That's kind of where Fonzie is looking to feel safe. And Jay Slayer kind of letting him know, you know what, this platform not safe. I'm looking for your landing. I do like that Jay Slayer kind of stalled some of his aerials to sense out if Fonzie's going to go for an aerial himself or even stop the double jump armor. Like that, he pulls back because he knows he has nowhere else to land after he's expended that. Right. Goes off stage, very comfortable in the recovery situation and, you know, content to just stand and get up. I got a little nervous there. I thought Yoshi's forward smash was going to be really <laughs> Right. Well, the thing about Yoshi, too, is he kind of re reels a little bit back and loses her box away for a second. Nice. Another PK fire. Good pressure here. He wants to make sure Fonzie's... He clears the way for center stage. And I do like the fact that JSR has that. Not going to kill Fonzie just yet. This is a heavy dinosaur. Oh, but man, that PK fire. <laughs> exactly. Just takes care of it. And Fonzie trying to go for forward air. And there's a little bit of an exchange there. You see that in some of these situations where Fonzie gets caught in shield, you see... J Slayer diving in with an up air as yeah. a bait and then immediately up tilting on the situation. It's kind of like the old school Street Fighter frame trap. You know, is it oh, my turn yeah. to hit buttons? No, it technically isn't. And oh, it gets the neutral <laughs> off stage while we're explaining that situation. I mean, well, that situation, right? It is kind of the old school Street Fighter. You keep your opponent in the corner and they try to get out. You kind of just understand, you know, right. he wants to jump out of the corner. I can just read this. Yeah. I'm telling you, Lux, this is why we need that veteran status. It's go going for the edge guards, gets a little PK freeze. Doesn't quite get it, but he's been doing a good job bowling Fonzie off stage. Good forward air, breaking through the double jump armor. Mm -hmm. He kind of knows what's this, the, what's Yoshi's toolkit that allows him to get what he does, and Fon and Jay Slayer knows. I can't let him utilize that way too much. Good follow up from Fonzie because he knows he has nowhere to go but the corner. Gets this corner carry and immediately just trying to change, change him to the other side. Yeah, did a pretty good job with that positional advantage. Virtually tied it back up. Yeah, it's gonna be whoever gets them off stage first. Let's see what we have going on. Because you want, you know, Jay Slayer fighting and battling to make it back into oh. a game three situation. Solid, uh, solid stale there from, I'm sorry, solid uh, opportunity for Jay Slayer to understand if I pop out of the egg right now, Fonzie will follow up with a forwarder, and I'm only going to take an L here. Yeah, he took a, he took a long time. Oh, no, and he wow. took, you said it yourself, man. It took a little time there, and the time to be at that wrong spot against Fonzie, not going to play out right. Yeah, kind of an unfortunate get up option. You saw Yoshi, you saw Fonzie just 